Hi students, Amy here with a dictation practice for us during this quarantine period. Um, remember with dictation, I will be taking away the video of my face because I don't want you to be seeing my lips. I want you to only be hearing the pronunciation. Um, while we are doing dictation, remember that you should try to write as much as you can. If you are missing a piece of the dictation, don't worry at all. Skip it. Um, when we come to the explanation, you can focus on that piece, which was the most difficult for you. Listen to it again until you can hear it. It's really okay if you can't catch all of the words. We're always going to practice the sentences multiple times. And then if you still can't catch it, remember to wait for the second practice and the explanation at the end. Um, be patient. These are very difficult. They are supposed to be difficult. And this is never about speaking like me. This is about adjusting your ear, adapting your ear to hear that reduced pronunciation of spoken American English. If you're ready, let's begin. Number one, I can get you whatever you need. I can get you whatever you need. I can get you whatever you need. Two, don't you have to start studying for your test? Don't you have to start studying for your test? Don't you have to start studying for your test? Number three. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I get you a cup of coffee? Four. I got you a glass of water. I got you a glass of water. I got you a glass of water. Five. Let me know what you need me to do. Let me know what you need me to do. Let me know what you need me to do. Six. What can I get you to eat this morning? What can I get you to eat this morning? What can I get you to eat this morning? Look back over your six sentences, your six phrases. You should have three question marks and three periods. Listen to each one more time and then we'll review. Number one, I can get you whatever you need. Two, don't you have to start studying for your test? Three. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Four. I got you a glass of water.
five. Let me know what you need me to do. Six. What can I get you to eat this morning? Before we jump into our deep explanation for each sentence, I hope you noticed that all of the phrases had this ch sound in them, which comes from the T at the end of one word, pushing forward into the Y at the beginning of the next word. For example, don't you becomes don't ya, don't ya. Don't you know? Get you becomes get ya, get ya. What can I get ya? Got you becomes gotcha, gotcha. I gotcha. What you, whatcha, whatcha. So watch for those and look back over your sentences as we are doing this to see if you caught them or not. Number one, I can get you whatever you need. I can get you. That can becomes can, can, I can go, I can get, I can help. Get you pulls together into this get you, I can get you. And then the long you becoming the short ya. I can get you. I can get you whatever you need. Two, don't you have to start studying for your test? Don't you have to start studying for your test? Again, that don't you pulling together into the don't you. Have to becoming have to. Don't you have to? Don't you have to start studying? We never hear the ing strong studying. Always that's cut reduced studying. Studying for, for your test. Don't you have to start studying for your test? Three. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I get you a cup of coffee? Again, can becoming can. Get you becoming getcha. And then it's pulled together into the next A. Can I get you a? Can I get you a cup of? Cup of? Cup of coffee. A cup of coffee? Can I get you a cup of coffee? Number four. I got you a glass of water. I got you a glass of water. Again, got you becoming gotcha. That A pulled back. I got gotcha you a. I got gotcha you a glass. I got gotcha you a book. I got gotcha you a. A glass of water. A glass of water. A glass of water. A glass of water. That T becoming D in so many spoken American English words. A glass of water. A glass of water. I got gotcha you a glass of water. <sighs> Number five. Let me know what you need me to do. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know what you need me to do. Let me becoming let me. What you becoming whatcha. What you need me. To do. Again, that strong t, t, t on the to becomes a pulled back, a held back. Let me know what you need me to do. To do. Last one with number six. What can I get you to eat this morning? What can I get you to eat this morning? Again, that can becoming can get you pulling together into getcha, that strong t to eat becoming a, a held back, an unreleased to eat. What can I get you to eat? What can I get you to eat this morning? One more time, let me read each sentence for you. I can get you whatever you need. 
Don't you have to start studying for your test? Can I get you a cup of coffee? I got you a glass of water. Let me know what you need me to do. What can I get you to eat this morning? How was this dictation for you students? I hope you're feeling okay at the end. Um, as always, let me know in the comments which sentence was easy for you, which sentence was difficult. Um, if there is another pronunciation that has been very difficult for you and you would like me to focus on in a future dictation, just leave a message in the comments under the video. Until next time, students. Bye.